So here you can see that I'm in a blank project and you have this workspace. So by default, the measurement of the workspace that you see in the workspace grid is in millimeters. So now what you can do is you can go around and change the value. So snap grid right now is 0.1 millimeter. You can go around and change this out as well. Snap grid is what you have right here. So if I were to move this, you can go around into millimeter. Let's say I'm going to go around into five millimeter right here. It changes around into five millimeter. It snaps to five millimeter uh, on space. So as I move this, it moves around five millimeter as you can see. If I were to really zoom around, you can see that it moves five millimeter right here. If I were to do 0.1, then it moves around very smoothly. You can also change the grid size by going on to the edit grid workspace. And by default, you can see that it is in millimeters. You can change the width and height of the millimeter. Let's say I want around 100 uh, by 200 millimeter. If I were to press upgrade grid, then now I have 100 by 200 millimeter right here. I can go around into edit grid and I can change from millimeter to inches or to bricks as well. So I'm just going to go around into inches and you can go around with the presets that's available right here. And uh, also may add in your own values over here as well by clicking on the default. So I'm just going to go around, let's say uh, on to custom. So from default, let me just go to custom and then in custom, it allows me to change the value. So let me just erase this. Uh, press 3 and let's say I'm going to go to 5. So it's 3 by 5 inches, update grid. So I have 3 inches by 5 inches right here. So now it's in inches. So I can go around and let's say I want to move uh, this and that is the snapping into 1 by 2 inches. So it moves half inch every time I actually move this around. So I can go around, enlarge this out. So all the enlarging right here, what happens is in the half inch section. So you can go around, pull this out. So everything, every time the enlarging and then resizing happens in that half grid perspective. You can also go around into off and then now you can just eyeball it around and then work around with that thing right here so that you do not have any limitations. And that is how you can set up and work around with the grid inside of uh, Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.